got our first guest right here, right now. And I gotta say, I mean, what a great way to start the morning off, just starting with a guest. I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm thrilled. And you know what? Toy Fair is something we look forward to all year. This is a trade show for toys. It's all about the toy industry. And it's an industry only show, but we bring you the great stories from Toy Fair and all the action. This is your exclusive behind the scenes pass. It's the only pass you get to Toy Fair. So without further ado, I'm gonna welcome in Stacy from Klutz. Klutz is 100% Klutz certified. <laughs> you guys uh, have some cool toys and you guys have a lot of fun. And you've been in business, what, I, I'd say like one or two days, right? It's just, just a couple days just now. Just a couple days plus 40 years. <laughs> plus 40 years. Now, have you guys been at uh, Javits for all 30 years? I know you're a member of the TIA and all that stuff. We have been at the Javits, I don't think quite 30, but well over 20. Well over 20. That's an accomplishment. I mean, we're celebrating everybody who's been here for 30 years, for all 30 years at Javits. Now, I should say that Toy Fair started at the Toy Fair Bill. I don't actually know where it started, but in the up until like I guess like 1994 uh, or five or seven, 1997, I guess, uh, Toy Fair, or 87, 87, 1987, sure Toy Fair was at the Toy Industry Association building uh, near uh, across the street from Madison Square Park. Right. Um, and and in, in New York City, right by the Flatiron Building. Right. And now Toy Fair has moved to the Javits Center, celebrating the 30th year here at Jacob K. Javits Center, the world's most famous convention center <laughs> in New York City. It's a, it's a pretty big place. And so it you is. guys have been here for like 20 years, I guess. That's impressive. Um, and it's something to celebrate. We're celebrating the, the folks who've been here for 30, but we might as well mention the folks who've been here for 20. And you guys have been oh, members you. of the TIA for a long time and yeah. been in business 40 years. Unbelievable. Unreal. That's it exciting. It is unreal. It yeah. is super exciting. And we're thrilled to be here. We love Toy Fair. We love to showcase all the product that we've been working so hard to uh, engage kids. And we love to talk to all of our retail partners that are here and celebrate what we do and celebrate making product for kids and uh, just having a great time. We love to be here. So uh, tell me, you guys do something different. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's simple toys because it's not simple toys, but it's, it's, it's hands-on toys. It's creative hands-on toys. We're starting, you know, we're getting a lot into STEM. We're getting a lot yeah. uh, uh, into all sorts of things. But one of the things that's really important these days is getting kids back to physical play. And not right. so much like throwing a ball. I mean, that's great too, but actually taking chalk and drawing on, on the concrete and uh, interacting with other children with board games, but also being able to use their hands and their dexterity to make things, to draw things, to play with things, and that's really where Klutz comes in. Absolutely. I mean, Klutz, uh, you know, we, I, I consider us a little bit of the, the original makers. We've always been doing this. We are very excited to use our book-based activity kits. They're chock full of incredible instructions, step-by-step, -step, so kids can have immediate success right off the bat and tap into their inner creativity. It's tactile, it's fun. Uh, we are really proud of the fact that we have components that are premium, top of the line, and so kids are guaranteed to have success every time right out the bat with our, with our products. Uh, that is awesome. I mean, success for kids is so important. They, they need wins. We all okay. need wins, right? You have a bad day, you need a win. <laughs> that's true. And, 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 and so that's when I call up customer service from some company and I just give them a hard time so that I could win at something. <laughs> well, I would say, at Klutz, we also believe that it's okay to fail. Yeah. So we kind of celebrate the process that kids go through in creating. Every Everything's an opportunity to learn. Sure. I mean, when you're a kid, it's okay to fail. I, I believe failure is not an option in life. Yeah, no, after, well, after but, you're a kid, it's over. But right, as a right. kid, you're allowed to. Well, you have to. You have to learn how to fail and how to get back up, right? Yeah. Um, so that's cool. But yeah, I, I think everybody needs a win. So it's nice when kids can do something, especially like, you know, I have a three-year-old. And there are all these toys and games that are complicated, even for a three-year-old. Yeah. And they always want the toys that are complicated. But when you can give them something that is not complicated, where they can have fun and they get it quickly, and there are kind of no rules with it, then it's sometimes really good for them. They can achieve. They feel like they've achieved. So how long have you been at the company? I've been here for two and a half years, actually. Two and a half years? Yeah, That's pretty I'm a good. newbie. A newbie. I, I imagine you have some lifers there. Uh, yeah, we do. We do. I mean, it's, it's that kind of wonderful place. We, I always say every day coming into the office is a gift. We get to make these incredible things for kids. And, and I imagine the culture is pretty cool. I mean, every fun. toy company I've met has got a pretty cool culture. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and a few, to, you know, dogs in the office. I'm not going to lie. Really? You know, Bring your dog to work. Yeah. No. That's not bad. <laughs> now, the culture, um, when I talk about the culture, the culture is 
and the philosophy are about uh, teaching kids to have fun. It's it's not about just here's a toy. It's about kind of learning and achieving. Absolutely right. I mean, for us, it's about a, it's a process. We're teaching you a skill, hopefully too, but I would almost call it like subversively educational. Mm -hmm. It's it's fun. You don't you may or may not realize you're learning how to sew or you're learning how to. Um, build with Legos, which is teaching you a little bit about the art of simple machines. So, learning along the way, but having a lot of fun while you're doing it. Well, you, you talk about creating toys, right? And 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 doing it for learning, right? But not realizing you're learning, which is the best way. I always say that the best way to learn is to not know you're learning. Yeah. Um, and and so I I think that that's the best. But when you talk about it that way, um, the kids are learning without knowing it, and does that make it hard to develop the toys, to come into the office and go, how do we make something that's fun, but also will teach the kids? I think it's an exciting challenge and opportunity for us every day, and um, we bring kids into our office all mm -hmm. the time, so we're constantly working with them to understand what's fun for them, or how to learn a new skill, or what they think is interesting. We have, we call the Kids Club, and we send them out all kinds of designs to choose from, or different ways to interact with the product. So. We learn by by watching the kids. They they are our heart and soul of what we do and and how we think about the product that we create. So we always we come at it from a kid's point of view. Yeah. So I think that that's how the product maintains its integrity, but also is super fun because they they told us what they're looking to do. I love it. Uh, I think that that's uh, really important. Uh, getting them to you know tell you what they want to watch them hands-on. I think that there are a lot of companies that test with kids but don't really have kids involved so much in the process. It's interesting. How did you guys start doing that? I, I, you know, it's embedded in our culture, I think. Um, I also I have three kids myself. Our head of product development has three kids. The head of sales has three kids. Um, we'd like to think that we're all kids ourseles, Well, wait, so. the three, 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 it's like the magic number. You can only come work at Klutz if you're crazy enough to have, to three, have three kids. kids. <laughs> what, is, what is the deal with that? I have one you know, some people would say one is enough, and then they have a second, and they go, okay, no more, and then three's company, I guess. Yeah, it's, you know, it's more. Then they're all playing, they're all in it together. Is it true that once you have two, you might as well have three or four, and go they start seven, taking care of really, each other? It's yeah. Fine. yeah, Seven. That's not bad. <laughs> no. no? The only problem with seven is the minivan kind of yeah. becomes a little tight. It's the transportation is yeah. the real issue. Though. Yeah, you yeah. need a bus at that yeah. point. <laughs> so, all right, let's see some of these toys, Absolutely. and let's walk through them. Uh, I, I see, uh, is that Nemo over there? Uh, it's not Nemo, but it's really close. And actually, when you mentioned you had a three-year-old. I do, yeah. He so, and he loves Nemo. That's, so that's a uh, clownfish, I guess. This is a clownfish. And, and, and he loves, uh, anytime we see a clownfish, he, he says Nemo. You know, yeah, he gets excited. So That's awesome. This is a clownfish. This is a clownfish, and this actually is a brand new uh, line we just launched yeah. this past month called Klutz Jr. It's for preschoolers, four to six years old. Okay. And we're super excited because as we do with our core line, we worked with an educational expert. You mentioned about wanting to make sure that the kids could actually do it. Yeah. And what you're able to do at four and five is very different than what you can do at eight and nine. So sure. we, we actually were thoughtful about using air dry clay in this because that was something that's much more easily moldable for kids. And we also knew that it's harder when you're younger to get perfect shapes, so we included punch-out pieces so the kids could add that right into the clay and fun googly eyes. So no matter how perfect or imperfectly the actual creature you were going for came out, you had ways to make it look fantastic to you. It, it is pretty cool. Now, but the, the question is, uh, you know, you say, this is where I say kids, it's a win no matter what, because I couldn't do this at my age. I'm pretty sure Jack couldn't get this to be like this. Um, he's, he's my son, three, uh, but somebody did that, but even if you got it, whatever you did with it, it would look cool, right? It would be fun and that would still be a, a, a victory, right? It would, and I would tell you, because of the way we write our instructions, mm -hmm. uh, super simple, super easy, um, step by step, we use tech art, we use photographs, so we make it, there's lots of different ways kids can come at an activity, either visual learners or you know, at this age, most of them aren't even reading yet. So we put little arrows, make it super simple and easy. So I'm sure you and Jack would do beautifully with this project. Um, maybe together, it'd be a good bonding <laughs> experience. And the googly eyes would probably be down around the, the bottom. This, by the way, is uh, the fish. Now, this uh, feels very much like a, a ping pong ball or a, a little piece of styrofoam. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting. I thought it was going to feel like clay. I like that um, this is kind of lightweight and it feels almost feels like somewhat indestructible. So the kid's yes. not going to play with it later, drop it and have it crack. Right, it's done. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's air dry clay. And again, intentional for this age group. We, we actually make other kinds of clay product, but we really wanted 
the kids this age to feel successful with right. it. And a little bit durable when you're younger. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I like it. How long does it take to dry? Uh, actually, um, you know what? I want to say you, you can mold it immediately, and I probably let it dry like one hour a day. Really? Actually, I'm lying a little bit. I think it's a day. An hour day. and it's, it's set. Yeah. But to really, before they really get going, I'd wait What do you, what do, you do with a three-year-old when Who you have to say, wait, wait, wait a day? <laughs> Let's um, display your beautiful work. You go, here's here's your iPad. Uh, <laughs> or no, here's but you my can iPad. go look at what yeah. else we have to make today. Right, yeah. <laughs> you can say, look over here, not over here. This is cool. All right, so we've got the uh, the clay critters, uh, my clay critters. Uh, very cool. Thank and you. And then we've got some more stuff as well. Are, are, now, are we giving away some my clay critters to the audience? We are. Is that what we're doing? We absolutely are. Oh, you guys are awesome. We have Klutz. to give away We you. have Terrifics, and so what we'll do later in the day is we'll have a contest and give them away to the Terrifics. What do you Fantastic. think? Fantastic. We'd is love that to good? do that. Absolutely. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll give you a contest later, Terrifics, based on today what we say and what we do, and, and we'll give you a, a quiz, and if you answer right, you could win uh, my clay critters um, or something else because you have something else to give away as well. We do. And then we we're going to show that off now. Okay. Thank you for bringing prizes. For our audience, that's pretty oh, awesome. You know what we love to share. It's yeah. also fun. Uh, I'll do this one quickly because this is another clay one, but actually quite different. Okay, so this is something for a little bit older. You're not going to play with this with a three to five year old. You're going to no, play with this. No, but you can start this at six. At six um, to eight, and this actually, what I love is this is a real great for those people who are really interested in yeah. STEM and STEAM. This is a perfect introduction to electricity through circuits. I like stream myself because that's what we're doing now. <laughs> but uh, no, and, and stream is, is STEM, STEAM, stream. They, they, it's, it's really important to get kids working on, on STEAM, stream, you know, STEM. It, we know that now, right? Absolutely. And so this is a great way to take it one step further from the critter to let's get them working with electricity, comfortable with it, with how electricity Absolutely. works, how it can be involved with a product and how it can be used safely. Right, exactly. And for this, is, it's truly a beginning guide to circuitry. Yeah. And we walk you through exactly what that means, how to make a circuit. I mean, again, just to show you, like our instructions are partly what we're known for. Super simple, super hold, easy. Hold that up a little bit higher so everybody can see it. Wow. So just clay basics, basic circuitry. That's What's a circuit? Cool. So again, really taking the time to walk you through it, how insulating clay works. And then we walk you through, so we have four different um, clay to have here and the insulating clay. And then we just walk you step by step how to use the circuitry to make different items. And this one's my favorite. I brought my favorite. And what do we call this guy? Um, Does he I, have a name? Just Dragon. Just Dragon. Yeah. You can name him if you want. And it's the year of the dragon, is it not? So it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it is. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was intentional. Yeah, I, I figured it was. <laughs> But what I love too is that. Or I figured I'd get, I'd throw that softball up and see if I we like could you, put you. it over the fence. <laughs> but we also this also comes not only with the clay, but it comes yeah. with the battery pack, 20 LEDs, and more than 50 punch out pieces to again. Where were you last the, night when I was putting the LEDs on set? We could have uh, we could have <laughs> I used, could have been there for yeah, you. <laughs> we could have used a battery pack and you know. And we could have had dragons on the set. I know, we could yeah. have, or cupcakes, or Very UFOs. Very cool. 20 LEDs, that's a lot of LEDs. It, again, we really want kids to be able to, to expand their imagination and make a lot of things. Can you change crazy. the color of the LEDs? I, uh, I don't think so. So they're all yellow, or they're all different colors? No, you know what, I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling the truth. We have red, blue, and green. There you go. I just had to look down, then I'd remember. And, and yellow, clearly. And the yellow. Yeah, red, green, blue, yellow. yellow. RGBY. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, I want, you you have one more thing? I do. I'll I want, show I want to show it because it's a Lego thing, and Lego is super popular with kids oh and gosh. adults. I mean, talk about a company with an uh, amazing heritage and history. So you've teamed up with Lego to do a book with pieces. Tell me about this. So we've actually been working with Lego for quite some time. We have uh, Lego chain reactions and Lego crazy action contraptions that we've done with them. And this is our newest introduction. So Lego, of course, um, needs no introduction. But the way that this works for us is we, we teamed up together to teach kids how to make a stop motion animation film. There is a documentary on that on uh, Netflix on how to make a stop animation film with Lego. It's uh, done in stop animation and it covers not only about stop animation, but also it covers a little bit of the Lego history and there are a lot of Lego clubs. And yes. uh, it's pretty amazing how 
fanatic uh, Lego fans are, not only at a young age, but as adults, and I know obviously a lot of people play with Legos as adults. Right. Um, what's great about Legos is, especially when you start with Duplo, you can move up the ladder and you really work on dexterity and a lot of creative thinking. They, we're so, so happy to work with them. They're so smart and thoughtful and creative, and um, the fact that they partnered with us to bring this official guide to kids to show them how to create. Cause they, we all know the kids are doing this, but together with Lego, we're teaching them actually how so to think about it. So all you need is some kids. Lego, this kit, and an iPhone, Correct. or you know some kind of smartphone, and you can make a stop animation Lego movie. Correct, and we actually include 36 different elements wow. that we work together with Lego to have different faces, for example, so you can move your minifig right through the process of, of the movie. Wow, how long did it take to create this? Uh, we've worked with them over a year mm -hmm. to think about it uh, till I come. This is actually coming out in August. Coming out in August. It looks yes. like it's ready now. Very cool. Thank and you. and when you when you uh, how much is it going to be by the way? Because I feel like this is something that you know could be fifty sixty dollars, but it's probably knowing Klutz, it's probably more in the thirty dollar range. It's actually twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> it is. Wow. It that's is. very cool. And, and the 30 pieces, that's a big deal. I mean, it Lego doesn't just pieces. give away yeah. 30 pieces. Yeah, no, it's, I, again, it's a wonderful There had to be so much thought that went into it, because you say, like, the mouth movements. You, you know, you have to think like you're making the stop animation. you got to test it. you got to try it. And then give them the entire, you know, guidebook. It's, it, that's actually, a, there's a lot that goes into this. It's there not just as simple is. as let's make Bob with the red shirt and the blue pants and the yellow head. Oh, wait, we all have yellow heads. <laughs> Well, and, and honestly, because of that, we actually give you 10 different story starter ideas yeah. of different uh, scenes to make. If kids want to do their own thing, we give them a script story starter. We teach them how to storyboard. We teach them about lighting, editing. We wow. give six different background scenes to pull out. You so. know, if I could get a couple of those for my crew, they might be able to, we, we might be able to do some better <laughs> productions can, here. Make, <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's pretty perfect right here. We've right got now. this show, Broadway Bartender. Maybe we need that. We could do a Lego <laughs> stop motion Broadway Bartender. That would be pretty fabulous. Oh, wouldn't it be actually. cool? That would be a good time. The little Lego <laughs> guy going like. Da, 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 that doesn't happen here in this book. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it doesn't happen in the book? Well, not the bar. Tender. But we could learn how to storyboard oh, that, how to shoot could. it, how to do it. I can't, I, you got it. Can I see this? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, let's give that to the doctor, the good doctor over here, and make sure that it goes right to uh, Broadway Bartender. Here you go. Look at this thing. This is, this is pretty awesome. You got a snowboard in there? A skateboard. We'll call it a skateboard. And in my mind, it could be a snowboard. It could be either one. Yeah. Just take the wheels off. And then we'll, we'll learn how to cut our movie. All right, well, thank you very much for this. Well, this thank is you great. For having me. I'll uh, give this over to the good doctor who will take it <laughs> and, uh, and, and make sure that it gets to uh, our good friend Anthony, who uh, is on Broadway Bartender. He's the host. That show is coming in the next few weeks. We did four pilot episodes, and we're really excited about it. Check out beterrific.com for more. Uh, Got to go to klutz.com. You guys have yes, great please. stuff. Thank you. And you're giving away three circuit clays to our terrifics. Yes. They'll win that later. And three my clay critters as well Perfect. they'll win that later as well absolutely oh my god i'm so excited thank you so much stacy <laughs> oh, for coming you for on having me. you're awesome did you have fun i love this i'd love to talk to i'm very toy fair yeah this is amazing you, you don't want to go back to the booth now do you You just want to stay here I all day i'll stay here all right i'll see you i'll go over to the booth i'll go to the booth and you just do the <laughs> interviews you could probably handle it from here Oh, I don't. You, you, you're, you got to stay right there, and I'm going to go back to the booth. All right, sounds good. I, I really love uh, this one because, it, you know, I always wanted to learn circuitry as a kid. They had those kits at like Radio Shack. Oh my R gosh. R.I.P. Radio Shack, and and and, but it was always like too advanced. And then by the time I was ready for it, I was on to other things. But I did have like the soldering iron, and I built my oh, yeah. slot cars. Oh yeah. This is such a great start. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah I had no we fingerprints left from that. No. I'm just <laughs> Now, they can't get hurt with this, though. I mean, if no. it's been approved for a five-year-old and up, or a six-year-old and up, you we said. We have very rigorous it, safety yeah, testing. It's, it it's has meets to be every safe. safety standard. And this We're clay clearly stops, helps conduct it, but also stops you from... Yeah, you know, no, you know. well, the conducting and the insulating clay. So we, right. we, we take care of both angles. And they learn. You have the guide. You Absolutely. have to read the guide. Just don't all start the playing. Absolutely. What does this wire do when you put it with this wire? Yeah, no. <laughs> Short circuit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Stacy. Klutz.com. We're going to be back with a whole lot more right after this. I got to tell you real quick before we go that Toy Fair is an amazing 
amazing event. We're so proud and happy to be here. It's put on by the TIA, the Toy Industry Association. It's an international association that does wonderful events throughout the year. And I got to thank Marion and Kim and Steve for seeing this vision and making it happen and their wonderful team that works so hard behind the scenes to make sure we're here and we're set up, including John and the rest of the crew. Just a wonderful group of people, a wonderful organization, and I'm so glad that we're here for the third year in a row as the official live coverage of Toy Fair 2017. We'll be back with more of your live continuing coverage at Toy Fair 2017 right after this. Stay with us.